What is up YouTube, welcome back to Card Fight Casual. As you can tell by the title, today we're going to be taking a look at some brand new cards, uh, card reveals that we've got over this past week for Oracle Think Tank and Nova Grapplers. Now you may have noticed that over the past three days from 3rd to 5th of May, we haven't gotten any new cards of the day and that's because in Japan they're currently celebrating their Golden Week. Three very important national holidays for them and of course they take it very seriously and hence there are no card reveals. But however, we did manage to get an early leak of the June issue of Monthly Bushiro giving us an idea of kind of the playstyles of Oracle Think Tank and one of the playstyles of Nova Grappler going forward. So starting right off the bat, we're going to take a look at CEO Amaterasu, Oracle Think Tank's original and in this series, its secondary uh, boss unit for the Protect plan that Misaki plays. Now looking at the card itself, we see that first of all, it is a grade 3 possessing the Protect gift marker, which adds a Sentinel to your hand uh, once you ride it on the Vanguard Circle. Uh, very useful for blocking those big attacks and it also has a base of 12,000 power. Now uh, this is pretty important because we see from this card and the rest of the cards revealed that the Excel and Protect plans will have their great reads only having 12,000 power as a base. We're going to take a look at the first effect and active ability on the Vanguard Circle. Once a turn you can counterblast one to draw a card Take a look at the top card of your deck and put it on the bottom of your deck. So right off the bat, you've got a really solid plus one uh, drawing that card and very much keeping in the playstyle of Oracle Think Tank, building up hand size and predicting the future, what's going to be coming in the top of your deck and choosing whether to change that future by putting it on the top or the bottom of your deck. Now this is extremely effective for getting triggers there that you want or checking if you want that card on the top of your deck so you can make advanced gameplays. Uh, what's interesting is that it works really well with the promo card that's being released with VBT01, the Omniogy of the Moonlit Knight, coming in that first ever promo pack. That when you place that grade 2 unit onto the field, you can Soul Blast 1, discard a card, and draw a card from the bottom of your deck, which allows you to swap out cards that may be not so useful in a drive check uh, because you want to get triggers in a drive check, but still important that you want that card in your hand. So this could be things like a perfect card or a grade 3 that you really want but not one that you want to drive check. Maybe because you don't want to reveal certain bits of information to your opponent as well. Now taking a look at the second effect of CEO Amaterasu, you have an vanguard and rearguard circle ability during your turn whenever you look at your deck by one of your unit's effects, this unit gets power plus 5000 until the end of turn. So every single time one of these effects trigger, you do get that plus 5000 bonus. However, it's important to note that if you look at uh, 1 card or 10, if it's all by the effect of 1 unit, it will only still get that plus 5000 power. So pretty powerful effect and over the next few cards, you'll get to see that this effect um, of checking the top card and putting it on the top and the bottom is actually going to be quite common which will give uh, CEO Amaterasu and nearly all of Oracle Think Tanks a pretty solid column with CEO Amaterasu that's able to hit for those large numbers. Now taking a look at the first of the leaked cards from the monthly Bushrio issue, Battle Maiden Sarasa. It's got an auto ability on the Vanguard and Rearguard Circle. When it attacks the Vanguard, look at the top card from your deck and put it on the top or the bottom, like CEO Amaterasu, but without needing that counter blast cost, of course, not getting that draw card as well. A pretty solid grade 3. Oh, and uh, it gets plus 6,000 power once you do that. Now, this is a pretty important grade 3 because it's going to help to fuel uh, constantly your grade 3 Amaterasu's uh, ability to get plus 5,000, plus 5,000 consistently. And um, it's a common card and it does not have a protect gift marker, but I foresee that this will be a run in most decks, at least two, one or two copies of that, uh, just to get that checking engine consistently to check for triggers and if not then it will still just give your CEO Amaterasu that plus 5000 power. Next up we have Yellow Witch Mimi with very much the same ability, a grade 2 with 9000 power on the rear guard circle when placed, check the top card and put it on the top or the bottom. Very similar to one of the, or the original Vanguard units, Battle Sister uh, Coco I believe it was, and this card is just a pretty solid card all around, allowing you to check the top card and put it on the top or the bottom. 
if there is something you want to draw with, say, Omnio Geo the Moon Knight or one of the new uh, support cards that will be coming out uh, with Oracle Think Tank, we'll just have to wait and see. Then we have Weather Girl Saru Safuto. Weather Girl Safuto, uh, which on the rear guard circle, once per turn, when you draw, and this uh, can happen uh, when you trigger a draw trigger, um, by paying a uh, cost of Soul Blast 1, it gets plus 6,000 power to the end of turn, making her a 15k attacker if you draw a card. Now, of course, this works really well with CEO Amaterasu. Uh, Soul Blast 1 uh, not really interfering with that Counter Blast cost, so you're kind of dividing out the kinds of cost you'll be spending on this unit, but really useful for getting those numbers, uh, especially with a 8k booster behind, allowing you to hit those uh, force units for those big numbers that you really, really want to hit. So pretty, all around a pretty solid card, probably run one or two of her, um, and she's a common, so it looks like um, she's going to be uh, in quite a lot of decks, uh, especially since it was revealed in a stream, or rather in the advertisement for VBT01, that it is confirmed oracles are in fact getting their draw trigger perfect cards, freeing up some space for their grade 1s, grade 2s, grade 3s, uh, four more of those that they want to add somewhere along the line. Next we have Solid Turtle, Rear Guard Circle. When placed by paying a cost of Soul Blast 1, you can draw a card and discard a card. Uh, only in the Rear Guard Circle. Pretty solid card, um, no pun intended, but uh, just allows you to swap out something from the top of your deck and, uh, and something... Some, allows you to swap out something from the top for something that's in your hand. But interestingly enough, you draw a card before you discard a card. So even if you don't know what is on top, you can still make that evaluation after you um, after you draw. So you can kind of pick the worst unit that you find after all that is said and done. Uh, the last official reveal for today is the Goddess of Time's Passing Mizuno Hame. And it looks like on the rearguard circle, when it boosts a vanguard, uh, only a vanguard. If the number of cards in your damage zone is 3 or more, this unit gets plus 6,000 power, making it a 14,000 power uh, booster until the end of that battle. Now this is pretty important because uh, it's the biggest booster we've seen so far, and while it does only work on the vanguard circle, its cost is fairly easy to meet. By the time you're grade 3, or the, the second turn that you're grade 3, you should definitely have 3 damage already, really giving you those powerful swings with your maybe Amaterasu or whatever card that you have on your vanguard circle allowing you to really uh, to combat that, that higher po base power of the force clans and last of all we actually do have a silent tom that is going to be silent tom in this set but we don't know his ability yet and we'll just have to wait and see so next up we're going to be taking a look at nova grappler's new boss unit revealed on the first of may this week uh, Asura Kaiser, uh, a very solid and the original uh, boss unit for Nova Grapplers and Kamui Katsuragi on the anime in the original anime series. Now, uh, taking a look at the card itself, first of all, we see that it does have that 12,000 base power, like I said before, as well as the Excel gift marker that really allows it, which allows it to add a uh, rearguard circle to the left of your field and then to the right of your field. Um, after you ride a second uh, unit with the Excel gift marker. Now taking a look at the ability of the card, we see that it's a pretty powerful effect that only works on the Vanguard circle, but rightly so. When your drive check reveals a grade 2 or greater card, stand one of your rear guards, and this is important because it turns practically half your deck into a uh, stand effect, and if the reveal card is a grade 3 or greater by playing a cost of Counter Blast 1, you can uh, give that unit plus 10,000 power. Now this is really interesting because uh, now it seems that Nova Grapplers are the only unit, or the only clan I should say, that will be able to replicate the effects of the stand trigger in its new V-series version, which gives you know 10,000 power instead of the 5. Uh, very solid effect. Half your half your units in your deck will be able to give plus uh, will be able to stand your units, and eight or nine of your units in the Excel clan will be able to function as a stand trigger for the simple cost of a counter blast one. And with the next unit, you'll be able to see that this cost is not that high a cost. It maybe you're thinking, well, that's a bit counter blast heavy if you want to keep on attacking. 
uh, one of the units we'll be looking at, I should say, uh, will be uh, pretty useful in that regard. So, taking a look at the first of the leaks for Nova Grappler, uh, which is pretty interesting to note that uh, in the original manga, in the manga and the original Vanguard series, uh, one key difference was that Miwa, that is Kai's best friend Miwa, uh, actually played uh, Nova Grapplers in the manga, as opposed to the Kagero that you saw him play in the original Vanguard series. Now, the first revealed card is Miss Splendor, and this is actually his playstyle, the Hero Race playstyle. Um, so, below your clan, below the clan, uh, the part of the card that tells you where the clan is, uh, below that, you actually have a bit that tells you what the race is. And it seems that for Miwa's playstyle, he used uh, the heroes, and for Kamui's playstyle, he used the riders. So, Vanguard Rearguard Circle, Miss Splendor. During the battle in which your hero attacks, your opponent cannot intercept, and if the number of rearguards you have is greater than your opponent's, this attacking unit gets plus 3000 power. So it seems that this is a very stackable effect, working both on the vanguard and rearguard, allowing your units to do a little bit more damage, uh, poking here, poking there, with that additional 3000 power. She's going to be a pretty solid unit, and at a common rarity, I think it will be quite uh, in pretty much in everybody's deck if you're if you're planning to play the hero playstyle instead of the risers. Now during the battle in which your hero attacks, it doesn't say your hero this unit, but instead refers to all cards that have the hero race. That means that if all of your units are heroes and you have a few of these on board, say you have two Excel Gift Marker Circles uh, out already, and you have two or three of these on board, you're giving as much as three, six, or nine thousand power to every single hero attack uh, that is going to uh, that your 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 units are going to make. Next, with an imaginary Excel marker, we have Battle Door Fighter um, active on the Vanguard Circle once per turn. Counter Blast one, or Soul Blast, and Soul Blast one. Choose one of your units, and until the end of the turn, when that unit attacks in a battle. When your, opponent, when your opponent would call guardians from his hand, uh, if they don't call two or more guardians, they cannot call. What this means is you're guaranteed to make your opponent drop at least two cards to guard against an attack. Uh, even if it's only requiring a 5k shield to block, you have to use at least two more, uh, will you use at least one more card from your hand to guard. Now it's important to note that you can use units without shield. That means you can drop a grade three to guard and I believe it will count for this. Um, it will count as an additional unit. It, this will make uh, the attacking unit pretty much one of the most powerful units you have attacking on your uh, on your rear guard that turn. Because suppose you drive check uh, an effect or use an effect that allows you to stand that unit again, your opponent immediately has to discard four cards instead of the two you would normally have to use. Now on the Vanguard and Rearguard circles, it's second ability, when it attacks a Vanguard, if you have three or more Rearguards, this unit gets plus 5,000 power. Pretty standard effect, but really allowing you to hit those uh, bigger numbers, pretty useful. Next we have Boomerang Thrower. Uh, on the Rearguard circle, it has two effects. If you have one or less face-up cards in your damage zone, when you place this unit, you can counter charge one. And the second effect, when you place this unit, if you have one or less cards in your soul, you can soul charge one. Uh, it's pretty fitting, I would say, that Nova Grapplers are getting that uh, resource damage on Flipper, soul charging engine to continuously fuel their Vanguard attacks. And it seems like this is going to be a pretty important card in everybody's decks to keep that, uh, to kind of refuel their resources, really allowing them to hit hard turn after turn after turn, which in the long game seems will be Nova Grapplers. Uh, well, mostly very powerful strategy to just keep bombarding your opponent with attacks uh, over and over again. Whereas for clans like Force and Protect, maybe, uh, especially for Force, you might want to end the game a little bit earlier. The next card we have is Cup Bowler. Um, continuous on the Vanguard and Rearguard circle. During your turn, if you have another hero unit, this unit gets plus 5000 power. Pretty solid attacker all around, and if you're playing a hero deck, almost all your cards are going to be hero. A very easy condition to fulfill, and a 14k attacker with no boost is, of course, very useful uh, on an Excel gift marker circle. 
because um, that unit's gonna be able to swing for 24k and it's gonna be really useful against those boss, uh, boss clan grade threes. Next we have Rocket Hammerman. Uh, auto on the rearguard circle when this unit boosts, you can Soul Blast one to gain power plus 5,000 until the end of the turn, making this uh, the second most powerful booster we've seen so far in the set of 13,000 power. Um, well, it does have a Soul Blast one cost. It's a pretty solid effect that I believe will um, will see some will see play in almost every deck um, because this is a really solid booster which allows your columns to get up to those really important power bases and it works on every rearguard circle. So yeah, pretty interesting card and you will definitely see more of this card. The last card for today is called Tap the Hyper and it just has, it's a great zero starter with the ability when you ride on this card, draw a card and it seems that for now, from the VBT01 set, this is gonna be the standard for, um, for starters and it seems that, that just promoting that kind of uh, that kind of uh, faster playstyle that allows more cards to reach your hand and everything to kind of move faster than it did in the past two eras of Vanguard. Now, the uh, one of the other cards revealed in the advertisement um, was the one uh, the Grade One 9K base vanilla for Nova Grappa's Death Army Guy, but it's important to know that this card seems to not have a shield value printed on it, and I think that's not going to change, which means that you can get more power in your boosters to balance out that uh, 9k attacking grade 2 to give it an 18k column so you can hit those force uh, grade 3s for big numbers, but it seems you will be giving up something, that shield, extra shield value in order to get that power boost. So guys, let me know if you like this kind of video where there's not so much editing and it's just me kind of giving my thoughts on the new cards as they come out. And let me know what you think about these cards in the comment section below as well. Keep a lookout for the episode review I will be posting of the first episode of Cardfight Vanguard as it comes out uh, in a couple of days. But until the next video, guys have fun and remember, it's okay to play casual.